Happy Monday. You are listening and or watching Pwncast. This is episode 85. We are in patch 6.2.3. I am your warlock host, Bell. This is the fourth time we've done this introduction due to various tech issues. Uh, so hopefully we get it right this time. Uh, we are down uh, Lake in this week because he's not feeling well. So he's abandoned us to go lay down and go to sleep because, you know, sickness and all. But Those people and their problems. <laughs> right. Uh, we are going to be talking about all the Legion things. A lot of information came out, including uh, treasure demons, revamped UI for transmogs, professions, uh, new graphic setting UI. They've done some tweaks on that uh, and much, much more. So make sure you guys stay right here. trade chat. Troll-based defenses are considered especially heinous. In Azeroth, the dedicated players who call out these asshats are members of the elite squad known as the Pwncast Podcast. These are their stories. Welcome back. I did bring the, the writers of Rohan with me. Uh, soon I to be another soon one. Soon to be another writer. The, the, the Prodigal Mage is going to return to the Riders of Rohan, the casual guild on Argent Dawn. <laughs> I'm so casual. <laughs> uh, I did bring uh, the mage who is going to become a teleporter in real life, right? <laughs> I am. I officially signed up for Uber while I look for uh, my next job. and Because uh, I, I want to make sure I pick the right one. I don't want to have to quit again. So I definitely uh, want to take care of that. So I'm starting soon as they call me back. Have you leveled your first aid in, so in case a rogue tries to gank you? I have not. <laughs> Might want to work on that. <laughs> I have. I have to level up I in a lot of things. I really want him driving me around anywhere, but most of the Uber people are drunk, so I guess it doesn't really matter at that. Hey, I'm a good driver. <laughs> My mind is Get literally exploding right now that the mage will literally be teleporting people. <laughs> <laughs> and he will be asking for tips. So if you call uh, him for an Uber ride, please make sure you tip him because he has expensive habits in the form of food and tacos. So. And you know what? I, until you said that, I didn't even consider that being with the, the, the teleportation. That was That's really... why I didn't ask you if you did anything or if I, what your story was because I had already had it in my head. So I, I was wondering why you didn't ask me because I, I figured, oh, she has something already. Yeah, it, that's interesting. So yeah, that's that's my plan uh, for the fans to know. I am going to be doing that until I find the job of my dreams, the which super, is never the super Uber. <laughs> <laughs> super, oh my gosh, she's not stopping. No, it's she's not be, stopping. It's going to be an all night thing. Don't you worry about that. I should uh, have a T-shirt that says that. I did also bring the shaman who broke the internet. Not the way you think, you little freaks. Uh, he did break uh, the internet. Uh, I want to hear this story. Uh, 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 he broke. Well, it seems that last week there might have been two people on this current episode that were like, ha, ha, you're wrong. No, you can do the Nemesis quest. You can change it over. Oh, no, you suck. Get out. Well, <laughs> it turns out, well, that's, the way, I rem- I that's the way I remember you're the conversation. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, and I knew I was right. You, you, can't, you can't change. So I spent some quality time this week trying to finish the Nemesis quest and trying to change. And I spent ages like clicking on statues and peoples and things and stuff. Didn't happen. And our fearless leader, <laughs> Bell, was like, no, well, our head told me that you can. Well, it turns out after a bit of investigation, thanks to our dear friends at Wowhead, they're wrong. <laughs> you can't do it. They've been handing out misinformation. Which okay. naturally flowed through to other people. It, it's a it's a fifty fifty. I discovered that you can actually change it, but only if you haven't killed anyone yet. So I finished up killing the blood elves, and I was like, "Cool, time for the next one." And I picked pandas just to get one of the harder ones done. And when I went back to the statue guy in the middle to to activate the quest, he's like, "Oh, oh, you you can change your mind here." I'm like, sons of bitches. They were 50% right. I've been holding this grudge all week and be like, yay, this week's episode. I'm going to get stuck into these guys and I proved them wrong. Turns out they were half right. 
Oh. And that's the only what? fucking half that matters. So just, <laughs> I wasn't going to let him talk about this if you weren't going to be here, Hots, because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to eat all this shit by myself. Like, <laughs> like, that's, that's unfair. So Wildhead well, was I, wrong. Can we just set the record straight that maybe Panzer doesn't know everything? I mean, well, I guess I'm not supposed I, to talk about it her. Was I this yeah, you talk about her. I mean, so, a lot of people share my opinion. So. Not allowed to repeat oh. on, on this show. <laughs> Something happened with your headset, or was it me? I don't. Know, I heard it too. Okay. I thought whenever you said he broke the internet, you he like accidentally broke his string or something. Like the string got pulled out. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. No, I just thought it was really funny because he kind of broke right, the yeah. internet in a sense. Um, but yeah. yeah. Well, I did also bring uh, the Boomkin who decided to put his school before the podcast. Uh, Hots for shots. Why don't you tell the world how much yeah. we're not your priority? Well, I have been. <laughs> Raised in a manner where his skull always comes first, and my grandpappy <laughs> always sat me on his knee on the rocking chair, and always bounced me up and down and said, you're going to get through school. It's yeah. going to make me super proud. I actually graduate with one degree on the 14th, and then I go right back in for another degree, which is... Why are you being greedy, man? You're already going. I know. Home. Your mom wanted me to tell you, by the way, you're adopted. Yeah. I... <laughs> You're adopted. I've questioned that many times in my life. Um, you have no mom. You have no dad. You're just Yeah, adopted. no, I'm just... Yeah. I'm, I go around and always play school first. That, he was born that behind... He, he was born behind a Little Caesars. I have high morals. I was actually put... My mom went into labor with me running... Having a race at the mall. So, oh! Because yeah. when you're going to run, you run at the mall naturally. Well, they were racing back to the car. She was, you know, yellow, relatively young, and she was like, we're going to race to the car, T! Oh! <laughs> Remember that one time you had a giant baby in your belly and you're not supposed to really run down the <laughs> She told me that story, and I was like... I told you you were adopted. So That's not much. your real mom. You're adopted. Yeah. Hmm. That was your first brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like a good episode. All of my life. Ah, uh, good yeah. episode. Just so you guys know, when we have tech issues, it makes us all super cranky, and the only way we get to unwind is by basically being assholes to each other. That's pretty much yeah. how we roll around here. I uh, waited like 30 minutes for me to restart my computer. We did, and it wasn't his I fault. It, it was the camera's fault. The camera I didn't was not. I realized that we needed tech issues for that to happen. I thought that was just a weekly given. <laughs> I know we're not normal. We really aren't normal. Um, I, have an excuse. I do. Before we get into the news, I wanted to respond to everybody that commented uh, on the episode regarding Hots for Shots's life choices. It gave me great <laughs> happiness to see that everybody equally felt the way that we all felt um, regarding that. Now, a couple of you were like, oh, "I don't really care." I I want you guys to be understanding this that we weren't making fun of him for his lifestyle choice we love all lifestyle choices um if it's an odd Even lifestyle strength. choice fries is in i mean you sign him right up and yeah. he come running with the stripper pole but we it, it's just it's been a it's a common joke with him because everybody including his adopted mother thinks that he uh might have a different lifestyle so I want to thank all you guys for your comments because you guys had me uh, literally every time another one happened on the YouTube channel, I'm just freaking cracking <laughs> up. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I acknowledged you guys and uh, and you guys acknowledging that Hots might not know that there might. Be I mean, if it happens, I, it's, it's a surprise to me. Like I, this is a really big closet because I don't even know I'm in there. I'm not gonna argue, but it'll be a surprise. <laughs> Sugar, meat, tank. Put those together, and you got Hots for shots. Sugar and tank. I'm uh, nice and our friend, flamboyant. our friend, our mutual friend, Cody, uh, Cody Dupree. He's uh, obviously he's he is the first one that was oh, like, hey, is he is he gay? And that's because obviously Cody, the original, the second Cody. We have there's too many Codys. He, I think he might want to date you. So I'm flattered, but. I don't swing that way. Hey, Cody's a good-looking man. I mean, I'm in. <laughs> I'll videotape it. Uh, anyway, Cody's amazing. Anyway, we got off topic, but uh, I, I managed to make it very super awkward for us, and I love it because he just wants to kill himself. Uh, sorry, Angie. I, I want to add a lot more, but I don't – this is, this is I a, feel like a no matter show. where we go – yeah, I feel like no matter where we go, we're going to need to break out the offense list because somebody commented we need a big whiteboard. It's pretty accurate of the offense list. Um, I'm not so, afraid of offending sorry. Cody. I'm afraid of offending <laughs> Yes. Right. Nate, right. Nate's I can not here like, this week, so I, I've got it. I can I've put it, it like, right I've got here. 
He's got it under control. He's got the Sharpie. That's super permanent. That means we offended you permanently. That's how serious that offense is. So lots of stuff happening with the new UI that's been – they've been talking about this forever. And um, the – before – actually, before we get into the UI improvements, I'm going to talk about this Treasure Demon. So apparently, from what I understand, Treasure Demon comes from Diablo. I don't play Diablo, so I don't know anything about that. But – Treasure Goblin. It says it's basically. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's a, it's the same idea. It's basically you kill it, it drops nice loot, or has a chance to. So yeah. basically, um, they're adding the treasure demon, and uh, it will start casting an escape portal when you engage. It appears to activate a counter that counts down as it escapes, possibly giving you more loot if you kill it faster. So maybe better rewards if you manage to down it a lot quicker. It drops sanctuary coins. So there's a lot of buzz about this on the internet, especially from the Diablo guys. I don't really play Diablo, so I don't really know. I mean, if you're giving me free shit, I'm in. So It it works like this. It's like a rare that you would come across in the game. Um, In that game, you don't really have, or in Diablo, you don't really have a lot of open world that you explore. It's all generally the same area. But it's a dungeon crawler, so you go through and you kill all these things and occasionally you have elites or, like, sub-elites. And then normal guys, well, a treasure goblin would be, like, an elite. It has a lot of health, but it doesn't attack you. But it runs around and will make you pull more mobs. So if you manage, it starts casting the um, portal, but you have to do a certain amount of damage to it before it cancels that portal. So, or try to kill it beforehand. Um, But I've never really noticed a difference, like with how fast you kill it, if it drops nicer stuff or not. Um, I've always seen that if you don't kill it faster, you get more stuff. I like it's, how when we need him to talk about WoW stuff in excess, he doesn't know what the fuck to say. But all of a sudden, you start talking about Diablo, and he's like, blah, 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 all the things, I know all the be- things. That's only because, and I've seen it this week, in between random spurts of Overwatch that last 23 hours, <laughs> he's been spending at least one hour a day playing Diablo. He is a filthy casual. But uh, the Overwatch beta is ending on the 10th until the middle of January, so... Tears are going out all around. I'm I'm proud of Hots. Thank you, Hots, for being informative. Yeah, he really did know, you know a lot of things. It this wasn't is, about wow, this is but my, it, was, it was a lot of is, things in general. This is where I'm going to keep all my tears for Overwatch. Or your pee because you're too lazy to go to the bathroom, right? Right, got it. <laughs> or that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't judge around here. We're Raiders. So new UI improvements. The Transmog Collection... And the wardrobe collection, like this whole situation, they really are doing a fantastic job with the UI for this. If you guys haven't checked this out, make sure you go to, uh, I think we did a write-up about it on on PwnCastDailyQuest.com, but uh, Wowhead did, obviously, they data mine because, you know. That's what happens when you when Blizzard loves you. But with a grain of salt, because it's probably wrong. So at the top of the wardrobe, uh, there's going to be a progress bar showing how many appearances for a particular slot you've collected. The new um, options for shirts and tabbers, as well as web and illusions, are also included in this in this UI. Um, when you acquire a quest item, you receive a message that several appearances have been added to your wardrobe collection. You can then delete that item from your bag and keep the appearance, the transmog appearance. Uh, at BlizzCon, it was announced that all rewards from quests you'd previously completed will automatically be added to your wardrobe com- collection. Although it's not completed yet in alpha, they are working on actually implementing that uh, in game. The actual items included in the transmog UI, from what I understand, have been a little bit buggy in alpha. So it's been a little bit difficult to see if they actually all work when they've been trying to do their testing. Um, but it looks pretty, when you, when you hover over, um, obviously it brings up the name of the transmog item, um, as well as a list of items that are in a set. So if you have transmog sets and you do entire sets, um, it'll hover over and show you what set that's from so that you can easily find the other items. Which is, I mean, that's pretty freaking, that's pretty legit. I dig it. Um, I mean, what's not to love here, really? That's They've kind of been hint- hinting at implementing this system when you go to the transmogger because the only thing they haven't really shown anything for is you don't have to have it in, the, like, in your possession anymore. It just saves the look of it. But whenever you go to the transmogger, you can pull up all the helms that you have in your possession, like in your bank, your void storage, in your bag, yeah, all that. If you deleted it, it's not it. going to be there. Yeah, and that's the that's the only thing they haven't really hinted at. But I'm really glad that they brought it in because that 
That'll save so many people so much backspace. This is going to be such a bad time for me. I I'm, spent 40k gold on a fucking transmog two weeks ago. This is not going to help me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Take away the credit card from the teenager because I'm going down. I, I like the fact that when you hover over it, it shows you whether it's a vendor, a drop, a quest, or whatever else. Because that, that's half the battle. Because I'll just sit there and go, oh, that'd look really cool. I, and I just, I'm too lazy. I can't be bothered going to the website to try and figure out where it comes from. Or have from to have a separate add on. Sometimes people don't want to have the add ons for that crap. It's about time that they're integrating all that shit yeah, in there. Yeah, I, I love it. And anything you can you can do to get rid of the add ons, uh, the better, especially if you people don't even like me. Use add ons, so I don't, perfect. I don't use add ons. Yeah. So anything anything that can help me in the, you know, I mean, they, they did a lot of stuff in the interface and, uh, the system uh, in the you know in that and I love that you know because it helped me out a lot so this has even helped me out more even I'm not a big transmogger Australia that's this is my good. rock star cozy I literally it moves with me where if my rock stars on my desk or in my room but literally this is specifically for my rock star see that's good see? we're taking we're blue. taking over all right we're taking over one can cooler at a time <laughs> Um, I love it though. I think it's great. It's not. Uh, I'm not going to use too much of it, but I may uh, add a few um, uh, clothes to my collection because of the ability and the easiness of the. And deal. you'll have old stuff that you that because you collected it previously, they're going to put all yes. that old shit that you used to have. So you might find stuff that you never thought. Well, that's for, about that's the, the dressing fear. room preview. So when you're in your in your new UI here, your preview for your outfits and your different sets shows up. Right, oh, like where it should be. Which, I'm excited. Yeah, I think that's they're that, man. They're really doing a good job. Um, it's so, crazy how they're doing. They're just getting to that now, but I'm happy that they I are know. doing it. Like, I, I, I seen a forum is... thing where a bunch of people were like, "Wow, you're on the late train, Blizzard. Better late than never." At least I know. I was say it's I've true. seen this implemented in a few games, and it, while we're talking about them bringing things from Diablo over to WoW, this is another thing they have in Diablo. You pick up the item, you unlock the transmog. But in Diablo, you can go a step further and go into dyes, but I still believe that dyes are what kills the games. Uh, no, but do you know how many people have been asking for dyes in WoW? Yeah, like it's... And tattoos. I think it's. I think it's. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I think I, I the think... dyes might be a little crazy, but in the new UI, they could give you color options. Not necessarily yeah. like where you have to go and and do a thing to get dyes. Like that's what I think when you say dyes that you have to go collect. Dyes. I think well, they should give you color picker options, but maybe that's asking. Maybe we're getting maybe, a little crazy there. Maybe do it the way that instead of having to go and like have a alchemist create dyes and you have to keep so many in your bag, maybe unlock it through achievements or. The amount of gear that you collect unlocked, like, you know, you have to have 10 pieces to collect gray and then go on down the line. Or we could just not, because, like, the game, <laughs> it, like, it's, it's reaching that People point of... People are giving of, too much, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, do, do you really want to start adding that It's not a fucking kind Walmart for crying out loud. Like, well, yeah. I, think, I think for a lot of arena teams, it's, it's really cool that you'd be able to do that. You guys can all match and look the it's same. I like that. It literally comes down to customization. It's not like this. I can't even tell where they're going with this expansion. Like I don't. I can't tell who they're not necessarily catering to, but like right. who they're focusing on. Like they're revamping all the classes. Okay, okay. everyone, whether it's your lowest player that doesn't even hit max level, all the way to you know top raid teams in the world or top PvP teams in the world. They're Bringing in this die, they're bringing in, or they're bringing in the transmog system. They're bringing in the gosh, fucking a hundred, if not more, legendary BOPs from rares across and the, the world. And the collection too, all the yeah, tabard. and that right. Price, that would be good for arena teams. You could all pick yes. what all tabard you guys wanted to wear. I think that's so, cool. So whenever you go, you break it down to using dies. That's literally one. They're already implementing it on the legendaries. They're, well, yeah, it's a color selection. I, I see where blokes saying, though. I mean, at yeah. this point, you might but, as well go but, to Walmart and pick your color because that's... Let me add yeah. to this, though. It's better that they do this now before the expansion comes out. I'm happy they're doing this now because it, just like they came out with the selfie cam during this expansion, when they could have been working on other crap to fix this, this expansion, they're working on the little things that no one cares about, like music and selfie cameras and all kinds Wait, of stuff. Shut your mouth. Like I that. love my Garrison music. I'm yeah. just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying I that. It's, I think too. that stuff should already be ready for the new expansion. 
expansion not installed halfway between because that takes you off of other projects that you should be working on, like more dungeons, more challenges, right. stuff like that. I don't, I don't see them introducing the die system for a while, but I'm just saying, like, they're they're hinting to where they might come maybe to. Maybe they could give like you, like, two or three color choices, maybe. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not, it'll not maybe have to be, a, like, a, a red hue, a blue hue, and, a, yeah. and a, 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 a pastel or some it's shit. That, it's just that next level of... You know, it, it it would be one of those degrading arguments, though. If Blizzard gave us ten colors to pick from, then, then people would be pissed off because they like, want fucking periwinkle and fuchsia. And, and why can't we have two hundred and fifty-six? Yeah. Well, oh, why can't that's we have because, every fucking color? That's because there's uh, almost six million players, and we that's very that's a lot of data. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so, like, I think they're smart enough that they sit back, going, oh, "Is that really a floodgate we want to open?" No, I, 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 I will we'll move give them a then. little, but not the whole. Yeah, I, I would love to see something along those lines implemented. Like, I would love to to have that flexibility, just to have that little bit more personalization on my characters. Yeah. But at the same time, like it, that's how it's been for eleven years. Like, I'm yeah, like we've done true. we've done fine without it. You know, we exactly, we've done exactly. this is not would, changing yeah, the gameplay. No, I'm not seeing. I'm yeah, not gonna say it's not that gameplay gonna, whatsoever. Yeah. I'm not saying people are gonna leave because they're not implementing it. I'm right. just saying like, it's just that next little. Which I love says, how Hots is which, all passionate about the fashion. But but which says again. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> but Tell but just me add more to that. Just about to add all to the that. fashion. What 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 I'm saying that just goes to that conversation where they're good, good thing they work on this stuff now before the expansion. Now because it's not big. It's not big. You're gonna make the changes to it now and do it all in one. Shamboozle. That way, after expansion, you can fix all the other shit that you didn't address right. and you didn't... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. On top of that with the UIs, so this is going to seem really dumb. So they are redoing the profession UIs. I know I like. this... They moved from the bottom to the side, so your preview and your create and all that. That's a big thing for me because that's in the screen it should be instead of you having to look down. I know that that seems well, that... probably really trivial to some people, but it looks a, it, it looks a ton better, right? It does. It does. There's an add-on called Double Wide Trade Skills, and I've used that since. Yeah, I use it too. Like way back in the day, and I've always wondered why they did that with the professions. It's like, why do they make it intentionally? Di- well, maybe not intentionally, but why do they make it difficult? And such a minor thing, um, like far as I said, it's such a little little thing to be working on, but it's going to make all the difference by by just shifting it over and it. it cleans up all the clutter and things like that just makes it so much easier but it i'm cheering that they're adding that in because one less add-on that i have to um, like yeah keep updated and, I yeah up and nine off too yep yeah and that's what I'm, I'm all for that i'm all for getting rid of all the the, the needs for add-ons so, so the yeah. profession window is much larger before uh than before so from what i'm understanding no scrolling needed um, at the top of the window, you can see your profession level, quickly link your collection to others, search for a recipe, and sort between learned and unlearned recipes. So they have put it in its own little separate tabs for learned and unlearned instead of you having to go through and filter and click and do all that other chippity chop bullshit that you have to do to try to maneuver through a, a good UI, but not, you know, the best. Um, the left window groups together your collection and remaining recipes. The right window highlights the uh, regents for the recipe selected that for you to be able to create or whatever. If I didn't pronounce that right, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> don't care. Filter options include recipes you have materials for, uh, skill up slots, category and sources. Um, there are tons of new recipes, obviously, that are going to be coming in Legion because there's always new recipes for expansion. That's, I mean, yep. again, for fuck's sake. It's going to be uh, like Hellbore. <laughs> right. Uh, food is coming from Broken Isle. Snacks, light meals, large meals, delicacies, fish. You mean I have to go on a diet and wow too? Seriously? Yes. Fable, to, to, to all the fans, remember, Fable, you would get fat if you ate too much. And if you didn't eat a lot, you would lose <laughs> weight. Do you guys remember those days? Sounds like Jeff. Jeff is one of our new Pwncast admins, and he's a good friend of mine, and he's always harping on me about I'm not allowed to have phosphates, and I can't have carb, and I can't have riboflavin, and I can't have anything because it's not organic, and all this other oh. shit. Now I'm going to be forced to eat light food in-game to just, come on, you're kidding me. <laughs> you got to get some of that foe, gives you oh. energy while you fight in arenas. I, I, mean, I maintain <laughs> that you just go right ahead and eat whatever you want because I'm hanging to see you. 
లేరు I know she didn't though the door was locked can you get it I was going to say thank you for just clarifying that <laughs> When you're looking at the unlearned recipes tab you can see what recipes you have the materials for so anything that's unlearned you'll already know um what you have in your bag which is is really nice um Legion recipes is going to they're going to come with star ranks higher ranks mean the recipe will take less materials this is basically displayed at the right of your recipe that's kind of interesting which is what it should be i like that you should get rewarded for getting to the highest recipes not not punished for it agreed you should get rewarded i could ag- oh god yes that yeah. some bullshit yeah especially <laughs> if it's some ridiculous re- uh, re- recipe that costs you know so much money to get the auction or yet spend hours for far- farming that one thing you know and they like should have the, the great feast of mr pandaria the amount of bullshit that you had to go through just for one feast yes and you place that and it, you lose it before unless you wipe within like two minutes because it disappears that's yeah. the sad thing it's it disappears like, yeah is that yeah. like the recipe mats that um you spend so much time fishing up you were talking about last week yeah you mean the ones you can buy from the trading post that uh, I can't remember who but it's okay, on YouTube. Okay. You you can buy the mats. Yes, you can go to the auction house and buy them. Yes, but that requires garrison resources. You can Yeah, garrison. You can't go in one Hold day on. and Do you farm up. Resources? You huh? Oh no! Well, everybody like at this point is maxed out garrison resources on twelve of their fucking tunes that have level three garrisons. Okay, so that's hold on, completely hold on. Let me let me let me rehit this. And <laughs> like, let me let me re, let me let you me raid let him explain five himself. times a day. Or you not five times a day? You raid five days a week, oh, right? Nice. No, like if you raid five times a week and you're responsible for bringing your own food and you wipe a hundred times per boss fight. Or like, yeah. Where so, are you raiding in Afghanistan? No, <laughs> no, all right, no. That's, Where are you that's raiding? Pretty, that's pretty. Ooh. That's pretty normal. What, what he's saying is that you can't just depend on Garrison because you oh, will yeah. run out so, on that character. So yeah, you will. You can There's max. No save where you're wiping on. You can the night for fun. Gorfine's a Gor, uh, mythic Gorfine <laughs> is maybe a 100 to 300 I'm not wipes. in that rate. Yeah, that's, I'm that's that what rate. I'm saying, though, is, like, if I'm going to wipe 100 times a, or, like, 50 times a night, where am I going to maintain garrison resources and the gold if I'm sm- focusing on raiding? It's it's still, you at some point, someone somewhere is going to have to go farm up that amount of fish right. to use 12 when, fish. When you, when you, when you, made when him you like wipe. super, like, he's on his game tonight. He went to school. He's feeling fucking good. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. fucking yeah. educated. When, when you wipe more than 50 times, you, uh, you get a rash. rash. That's what you have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it hurts. It hurts the booty hole. It hurts the uh, soul. I'm rating to that. That you level. need desitin because uh, desitin is non-greasy formula. Just so you know, yeah, the alcohol. If you use the alcohol wipes, it gets into the into the pores and it burns. That's scary. That's but at this moment, no, I'm not rating that amount. But there are people who do, and I have at that like at some extent. Yeah, rate I used to at this that. like seriously. Yeah, uh, it's not a thing. Seriously. But it, even then, so it's still like right now because I'm not rating at that. I have. I'm I'm close to cap, but if I want to go prepare myself for a week, it's gonna take me all seven thousand garrison don't resources. Don't buy you food. Start. You don't ever have to starve. Do yeah, we, you have this massive you know guild over here that will help you out. Hashtag sponsor food for hot. Sponsor food for hot. <laughs> Hashtag. Hey, Riders of Rohan food. will show up. One thing I've learned about Riders of Rohan: if you ask for something, you will receive it in your mailbox. Yeah, no, it's it at it's, you literally. It's still, it's, like, I know there's other means of doing it. And, like, I have, I think, like, 50K saved up. Like, if I could get it through other means, but if I want to get it the natural way by fishing, it's awful. And it's so much to do. I got the fishing, all the fishing shits in, like, two weeks because I hate doing it. So I just went and did it. But I see what you're saying. Yeah, you have to go catch a hundred enormous fish. 
you may you or may have, not be right. You have to go catch a hundred enormous fish, and that took you what an hour per zone. Before I forget, the Winter Vale sale for the uh, World of Warcraft store. Select pets and mounts are fifty percent off. Get in there and get some shit. Most of the pets are ten dollars, so it's five dollars for a pet. Um, and most of the mounts are twenty five. So get in there and get uh, your discount. And buy some shit if you have a friend or loved one. Nothing says Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Kwanzaa, Merry, give gifts because you want to give them. Nothing says all of those things that I'm sure I offended everybody on because you can't say anything about yeah. this kind of holiday. Any If Lycan was here, he always a bloke that writes down the, it's, the, it's Lycan. Nate, the, it's Lycan that does it. But yeah, yeah. we'd be offending everybody because you can't talk about this kind of holiday <laughs> without some group or, or faction coming up and saying that, that we've offended them with our holiday spirit. But if you All care the people about that get offended by talk of Jesus' birthday. <laughs> the gift of World of Warcraft for Winter Vale. Give them it's the true. love. Give them, give them a, a mount or a pet. There's, a, there's that charity one right now, correct? There is, and it's the Bright Paw, and it's adorable. Absolutely. It's arcane, so it would be really good for a mage, FYI. Um, so and yeah. it is 100%, correct? 100%. 100%. And it's only $10, so yeah, it's pretty legit. So get in there and get is, it. I, I'm going to go ahead and estimate they're going to get in the millions for this. Yes. Which I, is always Which awesome is awesome. Thing. It's yeah. great. Um, it's great because, I, I, you know, I have, a, I have, you know, I buy a lot of tools and sometimes they'll come out with something and it'll be 100 bucks and they're going to give uh, uh, 2% of that tool to a donation. I'm like, why even put it on there? Like, that's just, that's just dumb. Okay. But whatever. Before I forget, uh, a lot of you have been asking questions regarding the Draenor perks because they are going to be retiring them. So what they're going to be doing with the Draenor perks that you picked up while leveling through Warlords, um, they're going to basically be baking them into the baseline ability. So they're not going to be disappearing in that sense so much as they are going to just be pruning them in. Um, they're not going to show up in your spellbook anymore. Yeah, they're not going to be in your spellbook, but they're going to be within... You know, they're adding those to the spells, essentially. So they're not Anyone who starts playing in Legion will never have known they were there, but they're still going to have the same effect. Those of us that got the perks and all of that, it's, it's awesome. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about the boost. So when you buy Legion, you get a level 100 boost. Here's what was awesome about this. So this level 100 boost, in addition to being able to boost it now, if you want to pay for Legion now, um, it gives you 640 item level gear, which is pretty fucking legit. Basically, you only need ten item levels after that to go. <laughs> you only need ten item level points after that to enter LFR because you have to be six fifty for LFR. So that's pretty cool. I don't. I didn't know if you guys knew if you're sitting on and you're holding your your boost, um, uh, and if you want to maybe use it to get a tune raid ready even before Legion, feel free because uh, it boosts you with the six forty item level gear. Back to the UI system graphics. So. I don't really know what, yes. why they revamped this, but here's what they've done. Currently, I need a clarification for yeah, sure. Currently, the base settings that we have now, we have five options. So we have low, fair, good, high, and ultra, right? And, and right. in the middle of that, underneath, underneath low, you have fuck your computer and set it on fire. And above ultra, you have you have too much money, stop buying graphics cards. So <laughs> those are the other two that people don't tell you about are on that bar. So in Legion, the bars are going to display low, fair, high, and ultra. They're basically taking the good out. And there are going to be two graphic settings between each named option for a total of 10 preset graphic options. So I think basically what this means is they're giving you in-betweens. But I think what they're doing is, you know how normally if you're really, really good at setting your graphics, you can put it on fair, but you might want to look at maybe your distance, have your distance be higher so that you can see further out. What they're doing is they're doing this for you. They're making these customizations in between for you without you having to go in and do it. That's my, what I took out of this unless I'm wrong, but that's. So are cool. they adding a higher than ultra? They're no, just no, mostly no. adding a m in between. I was kidding about the you have to. I know, I know, <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure because no. I just wanted to make sure. But they, so they're they're just doing the in between, they're balancing more customization you, of so your you graphics. So you can tweak it a little bit more, so you can have a little bit more of what's important and a little bit less of what's not important. You might not want to see the steam and fog over some situation, but you want to see far out because you want to know if some people are coming to kill you. So I think what they're doing is they're taking the customization a step further and kind of making it easier for you to just fast click what it is. Okay. You're doing. And, um, like, if your computer can't handle ultra, but it's it's pulling 120 FPS at high, you can put it at, a, instead of having to go through and play with each one to get it looking the best you can before it, your computer takes a dump, you can 
it can just slide a bar over. Dumps and boats and hose. Um, yeah. So outline mode now has three options. Now I took outline mode off because I hate it because it looks very cartoony to me and I didn't like the way that it looked. It could just be because I'm a vet and I didn't appreciate that change. But it has three options. It lets you go disabled, good, and high up from disabled and abled. So my assumption is you're going to have either a slight, you know, your typical bright outline or maybe a little bit, um, just, just a tiny little outline, which I then might use it because I didn't like the big, thick... Okay little bitty aura. Yeah, I mean, you know, just a saying, hey, something might be here. Please touch my butt. Like, something um, for the NPCs. <laughs> I'm trying to get butt. through this as fast as possible because there's so I mainly liked it age. for the little random knickknacks that are laying around that you can pick up, like treasures oh, and stuff. Oh, knickknacks. Well, okay, well, for the treasures, before they started coming out with all, like, before the add-ons caught on to them. Say knickknacks. Grandma, say knickknacks. I know. I was just going to say something about that. But knickknacks, I like it. Oh. Oh god. Like, <laughs> you're just you've driving done, the yeah. nail in the coffin. <sighs> just every day, a hammer just hitting the nail in the coffin. That was looked really weird. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Advanced options for Mac users. Mac users <laughs> only. Uh, there's a new graphics <laughs> API specifically. <laughs> Bunch of losers. <laughs> no, just play that. I know. If you game on a Mac, I'm sorry. Uh, specific <laughs> for <laughs> all <laughs> Apple users. I have an iPhone, so I'm not Apple racist. I just. I am. She, ha- she I am. owns a Mac. She just never uses it. It's not. Uh, you should she can't play Mac. well on it. You shouldn't. You should never game on a Mac. Um, a lot I of totally agree. agree. And they're going to be like, I game on a Mac every day. My personal opinion doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's wrong. It means I I gamed on a Mac. I would never game on a Mac again ever. It's nobody's fault except Mac. So anyway, um, yeah. So they are going to get some customized uh, options for the graphics API <laughs> option, Metal or OpenGL. Uh, and We're going to get so many comments. I can already hear it. We're going to get so many comments. I know everybody hate comments. all the things. Uh, something really cool. So in Al- in Legion, some of the stuff that they've taken pictures of in Alpha. When you go back to the older zones you see signs of the Legion invasion. So <laughs> that is what I miss. I miss when things looked different, when something would happen. A patch would happen, and you would have to go through a certain yes. thing, and it would, like, Theramore. Like, I miss there being that tell, that Stormwind was broken because of Deathwing. I miss that so much. I'm very excited to find out. You guys remember uh, in BC? You guys remember in BC when you would turn into a, a, a lynch or whatever they're called? Uh you would die, and then you can only be cured by a holy priest. And if you didn't get cured, you would die after like That's an hour or something uh, like that. Uh, yeah, when the when the the plague, the plague. The plague thank came you. Out. They got the plague, the plague. into yeah. all the major cities. That's the healers go to. Yeah, the healers would have to heal you of the plague, or you would die. Yeah, and then you would become an undead, and then you can go infect everybody else. Or it was when uh, when they had the big. I can't remember what the mob was, but the big giants outside of all the capital cities and people were just getting squashed in their millions and millions and millions. And yes. like, if you logged into the game, you'd see just the skeletons <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> you weren't, weren't entirely sure what had happened, but you knew shit had gone I like down. how they do that. I do like... a reminder that, that like big stuff happened. Yeah, they, they did that at the end of last beta. The, yeah. yeah, they... And, and we're going to see, yeah. you know, they're going to be doing a big event pre-expansion. So we're going to have oh, yeah. some lead time with some things that they've got, they're going to have going on in, in game. Hopefully it's better than that bullshit they put us through going to the fucking, to the blasted lands, the shattered hand or wherever the hell we had to go. And we did that quick little lame set of two or three bullshits and they called that a pre-event. Kiss my ass. That wasn't cool. But I, I have a sneaky bigger. suspicion Fell Reavers making a comeback. I would like to see that. And, and I tell you, I will be the first person to be like, go see him. Fryza knows those so and well. It. And I'm going to tell you why Fryza knows those so well. Because on his PvP server, Outlands is where those fuck sticks hang out. And they pick off everybody. For years. Literally. For years I was yeah. there. 
Yes. Oh, I never forget those things. I did see the new graphics and how they revamped the way they're going to look. And I was just like, and it was at the end of the list. And I found that really funny because the whole time I'm looking at the list, I'm thinking, oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is foul river. And I was like, oh, I'm freaking go insane. I hate those things, you know? And, and I, I never forget the, 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 the trauma. noise they make is yes. the stuff that nightmares are made for. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. Whatever you hear. <laughs> you knew if you were leveling in that zone that your ass was and you toast. Heard, and if you, you add as you heard that one, noise, you just start running. It doesn't matter where. You just start running. And then you come back when you're max level, and you just keep you all of them. <laughs> yes. And angry the feeling and of victory when you get him down, uh, be it 80, 90, or 100, or whatever. Like, even now, when I go back leveling through, and I take one down, and I'm like, huh, take that, you son of a bitch. You cost me four <laughs> gold in repairs that one time back six years ago. <laughs> yes. Oh, so I, I hold on. I hold grudges like you wouldn't believe. Like, and Phil Reaver's right up there. Don't you worry. He'll, he'll oh, be back. Man. My words. He'll be back. He's going to come back and fuck everything up. That'll it's be the gonna event. be like a new and improved Fell Reaver that's still gonna be it's gonna be like the fucking Well Shark that even today will you'll go and you're like, Oh, I'm gonna go back and fuck this son of a bitch up and it still one shots you and you're um, it'll be like uh, the Iron Man suits. So instead of like Iron Man <laughs> version one, it'll be like Mark fifty two Fell Reaver. He's got laser <laughs> shit. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Have an aggro radius of like three hundred yards. You're gonna make me rage about the Civil War trailer. Anyway, um, uh, you can't rage. I cried just putting it out there. No, anyway. I'm a, I, I'm very upset at the direction they took Captain America. I think they took him in a direction that he shouldn't have been put in. But it's whatever. I'll love it because it's uh, comic books. And I'm I was already upset about the the new Batman versus Superman trailer because Ben <laughs> Affleck. Don't please. Do, I'm literally. Hey, I can't even talk. About I told you. Now that I I, I already I, told you why he took it though. Correct. Yeah, I, I understand told you why. all that. And and I literally yeah, I that's, cannot that's cool. even Fuck deal it. with the thought of it, the trailer made me want to throw up everywhere. Literally. No, the Henry trailer's Cavill, so amazing. Amazing. Gia, who they chose for Wonder Woman, couldn't have picked better. She looks yes. just like her. I cannot even deal. In, I can't live in a world where Ben Affleck is going to play Batman. Literally, I can't even. It's not his fault. So many evens, I can't. Anyway, I'm going to just, we're going to glance right over that and you guys. Maybe he's great. America, maybe he's great. I, I don't trailer, think so. He looks like a fucking pansy. Okay. He I, does look like a pansy. He, he really does. does, he does. does. <laughs> but I hope he's great. I hope he's great. And he took it because he was a, because he, I, I explained why he, he took it. He took it because he, he slept with his babysitter and got it no. from his wife. He cheated on no. a wonderful woman. That's why Whoa. he took it. I Whoa. thought you were going to say because his parents got shot in an alleyway coming out of a play, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah. why he took it. Everyone, no, no one wants to be Batman. Because, because he's going to have a life. He knew he was going to get busted for sleeping with his fucking babysitter because they all sleep with their babysitters. Why these Hollywood wives get these babysitters that are young females? I will never know. Because babysitters know how to party. I mean, <laughs> anyway, okay, off topic. Sorry. This is what happens in the mind of Belle. He, 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 he took it because they offered it to him. Any man who, who grew up on that stuff I'm would sure. take it. No, I don't if, they have the the no. the if you guys really want to hear more about my rantings, follow me at Bella Pwncast. You will hear all of my Batman rantings on Twitter because I've ranted about it 20 times already. Moving on. Uh, so for the new interface, some additions and changes. Combat display, uh, combat display and names now have um, an orange exclamation point by their name indicating important new customizations options. So in the combat menu, you will find an option to flash screen at low health. Legit as fuck. We have an add-on that does it, but now once again, we don't have to have an add-on that tells you when you're like, hey, bitch, please look at your health because you're dying. I benefit from all of these. I benefit from all of these. Um, I love this. It turns the edges of your screen bright red. And the display tab has several new options. Personal resource display. This adds health and resource information below your character. Resources are, uh, we all know what those are. Things like combo points, soul shards, holy power, anything that you have to, uh, that you have to acquire in your, in your spells. Um, the new self highlight option lets you highlight your character with a circle or circle plus an outline. Um, and you have the option to highlight your character in raids, battlegrounds, or only in combat in certain places. Um, <laughs> I've been flagged for PvP in <laughs> in, the, in the chat in the uh, in the chat. So yeah, pretty pretty nifty. I think they're adding some pretty cool shits in here, and I'm I, I love I, it. I, Customization, have your own colors. I'm in. Red flash something that screen, tracks your, your eye. Health. I'm stuck on the circle thing because I'm like I know that they're probably talking about a circle on the ground and then the outline around your character. Yeah. That's what I'm really happy. But the first thing that popped in my mind was like it's a circle around your character, like long ways. I was like, 
How, what? <laughs> well, why? That wouldn't necessarily be a terrible idea either. Sometimes you can't see or tune in a bunch of fuckery in a radio. Well, you, I mean, you still know it's in the middle of your screen, but you, maybe you need the circle to see where your feet are, like well, where you're, like, mean, for, like, AOEs. You're standing and, for, for uh, stuff on the ground. The... Yeah, like, the AOEs, like, you want to make sure that it's not in that circle. Okay, sure. cool, I understand that. That's probably well needed because there's some, like, before Blizzard goes in and, uh, fixes some of the boss fights and some of the raid fights where it shoots fire in a cone. Sometimes it expands a little bit out of that cone in some areas, and it's it been says, issues. It says a new self highlight option lets you highlight your character with a circle or circle plus outline. Yeah, I know. So can, I was so just thinking just like, a regular circle. Well, I'm, just, I'm trying to understand it myself. Just a regular okay, so circle, if, and if, then if you can go over the top. The- if it's all about is, customization. If this is your character on the wild screen, it's going to be a circle around your feet. Naturally. And then an outline that. But Naturally. I thought it was a circle this way. Like, oh, that'll be Is weird. that where you hide that your weed weird. pots? And an old vape? <laughs> just with you, dude. This is where I take five bong stuff today. <laughs> this is where I eat five weeds. And then yes, I go to bed. This is, this uh, is how well, I inject You had an off-topic derail us from the current conversation. Just, just a teeny-weeny little one. Because as we know, for the last two weeks, we've been live-tweeting the show as we're recording it. Because, you know, hashtag the fans demand it and all that jazz. Uh, That's I, I my daughter. It. She doesn't want to interrupt in, in the middle of the show. So she wrote me a note to tell me she loves me and to have a good night. She's oh, the cutest thing ever. Cute. And the A stands for Alfred. Right. <laughs> um, what I, I threw out there about uh, knickknacks not being for grandmas, and I just want to point out that my li- my buddy, Little Snippity, wrote back that she does love her some knickknacks, and she's definitely not a grandma, so haha, fuck you. <laughs> knickknacks are for grandmas. That's what he went off topic oh, for, right no. there. Knickknacks are for grandmas. Or girls. See, this... and not necessarily just grandmas, or... but girls in general. Or... British. Or British, British people. I like some knacks. <laughs> I, I don't know. So if you, I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever heard a Hispanic try to do a British accent? Because that, like, that was awful. I'm horrible. Hispanic British people. I've got British to go pay. <laughs> you sound like Morris Gump. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, guys. We I'm don't sorry. Know what we're talking about. If you came to us for professionalism, boy, did you click on yeah. the wrong YouTube because it's not it. Um, knickknacks. Fuck you, hot. Yep. Um, okay. Talent, spells, <laughs> and specializations. <laughs> the learn button is gone from the talent pane. You Woo! simply click on the talent, and automatically it gets added to your spell book. Yes. Woo! Why do you want to click 500 fucking things when you're in the middle of switching to a fucking arenas and you got all this shit you're trying to do? I agree with you. <sighs> And you're freaking out because you see the clock winding down where it's time to get ready and you got to drop your lock cookies because your teammates are bitching about where's my lock cookies. And then you got to buff and you got to call your minion. You got to sacrifice your minion. You got to do all this bullshit. And then you're clicking several different things in your talents. Yes. Love it. Think hey, about they, did, they did fix the mage uh, minion. He does. You don't have to spawn him now. So he just stays there now. Oh, he just auto, um, he just he just appears automatically. Yeah, which is nice. Uh, there's a star above one of your specializations. This is basically indicating that it's your primary specialization. Uh, it can be changed, obviously, the normal way by talking to your trainer. Um, I'm so ready for them to get rid of that. What the the old oh, the, the old trainer? Yeah, I I must have missed this somewhere. I maybe I didn't miss it, but this seems to be. Kind of news to me. I didn't realize that they were going to allow us to triple spec instead of just dual spec. I didn't realize that. Oh, Did anybody else know that? <laughs> I, I didn't know that. Is, but right I here, know. This That's system was... is incomplete right now because we know that tri spec is coming in Legion. That... So what you gonna that that's not fair for druids though. Because now they're gonna, yeah. That's very fickle. I'm excited excited about that because that means I can theory craft with my PvP with two setups. I was about to say, wait, so you can have three Destro specs? I mean, but. No, it's. It's just like dual specking, you would just be able to swap. I mean, you can't have them all This is what we were saying week. A couple of weeks back, when we had the uh, the Death Knight incident, and, and I'm sorry, Stone and Lycan, but like when we were doing all this stuff about playing playing Death Knights, like druids, yeah, druids can have four classes, but that's one of the that, that's specific to their class. That yeah, if you can triple spec, oh, I'm sorry, druids can't. Like 
other classes well, can. This can. is this is this is where it Hold on. comes Hold on. down to. Hold on, who? I, I agree with about being able to tri triple spec. Who would complain about what? What? No, I'm no, saying that druids shouldn't be able to because that's not fair. Oh, well. that's not fair. Because because like a mage, I'm a mage, uh, frost, fire, and arcane. Druids are not druids. They're balanced. They're feral, or they're healer, or they're tank. Those are th four different. Four, I'm three DPSs. Warlocks are three different. Uh, three DPS. Yeah, by allowing three them DPSs. to have a third setup, but what is? I don't understand what it's hurting people. He, maybe I'm not <laughs> understanding. Just go to their no, trainer and, and grab it anyway to activate it. So, it's. I don't that's, understand what the to me, make them do the hard yards. Yeah, they that's, got to me. But it's, anyway, who the fuck cares? It's not affecting anybody. It's there. It's not well, like they can have it, all three active at once. That just gives them the option. No, to no, to make it to make it so quickly done without having to redo your 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 uh, your your, your numbers and your your. So it's not was, barring them from changing their their spec. I'm I'm on the complete flip side of that. Like I would prefer them if they're gonna allow people to have three specs. Why not just remove the primary, secondary, and third one, and just be able to play whatever spec? Like you can have, like you. All right, say that you you're one of the few that you play warlock and you have a death respect for PVE and you have a death respect for PVP. And I understand why because you have different abilities, you have different macros, you have different button placement, all that. But why not allow people who Play Druid, who can actually ha get all the gear and main all four specs, to just be able to go at a whim instead of teleporting all the way back. Like it's it's well, literally like you're you talking can, like you can make the choice of what three you want. So I don't have to be told you can use all your specs. That's it. So you you have one affliction, you have one destruction, and you have one demonology. Is that would screw me because. What good would it do me? I I understand what you're saying, but it's not yeah. practical with well, the setup because then you people wouldn't be able to customize their specs. Because well, at this point in Legion, I'm in a triple spec Destro because that's amazing. Yeah, I'm, gonna, that's, I'm that's probably going to triple saying, spec like, Frost. And this will let us theory craft, especially maybe not so much for PVE, but for the PVPers who want to. If you need to, oh. are we setup? RBG setup because it's two completely different things. Most of the time, your talents, your glyphs, and everything is completely different according to RBGs and according to arenas. So there's many times when I go to do arenas and I have to completely yeah. change everything because different things are needed in that scenario. Imagine a world where you didn't have to do that. You could swap and have your arena spec and you could swap and have – or if you don't PvE, PvP, you have a rating spec. You have a, a farming spec. You have a solo spec. Like you have things that are actually – for different stuff, so you don't have to go through 30 minutes of trying to set okay. up your character before. Yeah, but for druids, I was about to say. I say no, let me, cool, let me. Whatever. Druids I get what you're saying. You have, I hear what you're saying. You have your, you have a spec for Destro. Like you have three different Destro specs, right? So now I have three different rest. I actually I have a Boomkin spec and I have a Resto spec. Mm -hmm. But if I were to have a Resto spec for PVE and then one for PVP, I'm in the same boat. I have to have one for PVE, mm -hmm. uh, one for RBGs, and one for Arena, because mm -hmm. all three of them are going to be different. Okay, now I need a Boomkin. I need a Boomkin for RBG. I need a Boomkin That's for... That's your fault for rolling a class that has too, more, too many options than what you well, do. What? Can, <laughs> so you're, gonna, you're like, going that's to... That's the price you pay for... So there could it. be a negativity what, for the is, Druids this on this one. This is what I'm saying. If you're going to look at it, oh, that's your fault. Okay, well... That's the class that I love, and I agree. It is, it's a rare class. It's the only class that has that kind of setup, other than Paladin. Paladin's the only other one who can tank, Make DPS, and, well, no, Monk's not. Monks, 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 monks can do that, too. So why why not implement something to where it's like, because there's add-ons for it, but since we're talking about getting rid of add-ons, why not, okay, well, this is my resto, I'm in my resto spec, but now, under my action bars, I want action bar one, action bar two, or action bar three. Because there's add-ons for it. I guess when it comes to pure customization, that works. But when it comes to actual uh, loyalty to one, to one spec, I guess that kind of hurts it. But yeah, if you I guess it doesn't matter. That's fucking, For resto druid, he's, it's going to be... He's on the forums, and so-and-so says this spec is OP. You need to change it right now. If you're that fucking guy that does all that shit, <laughs> sorry about your luck. Maybe you should consider not being a bandwagoner. I mean... Yeah, no, it's... it's... I, I, I tend to look at it in, in the old perspective of, like... When paladins were the only ones that could have those fancy shiny mounts, the horse mounts, mm -hmm. I'm going, no other class can have it. 
You want that mount? You go and yep. play that class. Uh-huh. You don't want to have to pick between 88 different specs and trees and changes and action bars and whatever else. There's yeah, like well, no, it's, it's not going to determine. You know what I mean? Like, no, oh, no, I wouldn't, I yeah. wouldn't expect to because I'm, I'm exactly the same with my shaman. Like, yeah, but that, my, that's the class I play no matter how broken whatever my it is. And it's just unfortunate that you I'm maybe so, in this case don't my, agree with my, that. I'm so Original excited intent. about this change. You have no idea how excited I am about this. But really, but really, maybe I'm not. Maybe I, when I first heard this, now I, I thought it would affect a lot more. But now I'm thinking, maybe it'll benefit everybody, not just a few classes. Maybe it can benefit everybody, just like Balasang said. You know, everybody may actually add more to their customization for their character, get better for them. And I, I mean, think druids it goes are in the ways. weeds. Druids are going to be in they the weeds a little but bit. My, I'm hoping Blizzard original... will. I'm sure you're not the only one that's brought up that subject. So I'm, my hope is that Blizzard's going to. My original whatever. intent was why take why make us spend. You've already gotten rid of having to go to the class trainer to actually learn class specific things, like to go learn abilities. Okay. Thank God, really. I mean. Yeah, I mean, like I remember. Oh, those I like that. Is, I, I, like I remember that those well. days. I... So I like that. All right, now. I think you should... Literally, the only reason to go back now to a class trainer is to swap a specialization. Why not just be able to click on it and be like, oh, hey, this is my best respect. Well, maybe I need this spec for affliction, but I need it right now. You're literally saving, you're making people spend a whole five extra minutes to go back in the, because there's warlock summons, there's there's summons. Yeah, but, like, it's, but that's it's, what makes it an RPG. Well, yeah, I mean, I agree. What you're saying, though, if you just want them do you remember to click... What I, do you yeah, remember what I a said a, almost a year ago? I said, I don't want this game to become a console game where everything's done in a menu. Yeah, no, That's I, what I said. I don't, I'm against that. If you want them to that. click, then I wouldn't be able to have two Destro specs. I would have no, to be no, forced no. with that was already in the game. Click. No, that I'm was already that's in the game. But, but what have, he's saying is he wants one. you to be able to go click without having to yeah, go. Yeah, which is I'm learn. against right, that no, because then we're going to start becoming a console game. We're going to start no, being able to click I, on I'm everything even, without having to walk anywhere. I'm not. Yeah, like it's what Fryze is talking about. It's all right. So you have Warlock right here, and then you have your two talents, and you can be three things on each one. So for your first one, you click one of the three, and then your second one, you click another one of the three. I'm not saying you have to be like, oh. Is well, anybody else I distracted by in. his weird finger movements, or is it just I'll, uh, in I'll, my I get it, though. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't have my papers on my book. My book. I hear what you're saying, Hot. Yeah, I know. People just, who do sign language. Here's what I know. <laughs> this doesn't hurt anybody. No, not at all. It's nice. The druids might have a little struggle. Hopefully, Blizzard will work that out. That works up now. I, for might one, am excited about that because I would love to be able to have a different. I will have three Frostbecks. Yeah. I have two Frostbecks right now. For even those I don't of us that are purists and we don't swap mains, we stay the course and we, we are who we are regardless of what happens. We're I think purists? This, we're purists. I like it, gives us, it gives us another avenue of theory crafting or another avenue to use for a different function instead of having to constantly switch out all your bullshit. That comes with the nature of being – I'm not saying – I'm just saying we're pure. Isn't that what the what what inbreeding is? We're inbreds. No. Our blood is pure. No. <laughs> we haven't been outside the family That's in a hundred years. That's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Hoss is from I Alabama. Like, he would yeah. know about kissing yeah. cousins, wouldn't he, Hoss? Always, My always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> always sunny in Philadelphia. His there's cousins a whole family were not in there. geographically close enough for him to make out with, ladies and gentlemen. In case you were wondering, Hoss did not make out with his cousins. Well, that he knew of. He might have because they're all. In the same family. So yeah. this is this is the issue with me going to Germany because my dad's from or my father's from Germany, but I don't know any of my family over there. So I'm just like, I can never go to Germany. And Angie, <laughs> Angie could be your cousin. You wouldn't even know it. Right. We offended Richard. I'm, Damn it. I'm ready and waiting. Ready and waiting. <laughs> um, Gotta get that list to uh, to a like it when he gets back. So yeah, for combat. Like, Damn, dude. The addition so to the interface with combat. Um, Interface option to display health and resources in the center of the screen. The resource bar will be redesigned with clearer graphics. So basically eliminating scrolling battle text and all the other bullshit. It's going to be in the middle where you would typically look. Sometimes now that should have been erased agreed. a long time ago. Agreed. That totally was agreed. never used. I think I used that very rarely only when I was theory crafting. And even then it wasn't very efficient. Because the placement of it was really weird. And you had to look fucking everywhere. The, the, if you were dotting shit over here and you're killing shit over here, you're trying to look. Now it's going to be appropriately placed in front yes. of your eyes instead of having to look. All the fuck mm. about. I hope we can move it because middle of the screen. You were just so. a negative motherfucking Nancy.
tonight, Jim. No, like, <laughs> it, it's literally, this is, like, one of the only nights I've ever been, like, negative about everything that's said. And I'm not really? even being negative. It's, I'm going to start calling for you it. Fryza. I know, I was, he's the new Fryza. I like no, this. It's, it's literally <laughs> one night. So, but it's, like, the reason people have those add-ons are for are for customization. If you're going to try to replace those add-ons, you have to bring everything that those add-ons Listen are bringing. Listen to me. This is not for people that have add-ons. This is for people who don't use add-ons, like Fryza. They're not giving you customization <laughs> of the fucking but shit in the UI. They're giving right. you additions to the Do UI so want, that you so don't you have to get an add-on. On. So that is what entire, it is for. It is not for people system? like you. It is for the people that <laughs> don't use these things Do that have have Elitus use. My mouth is in over my mic now. <laughs> This is for the people that don't use those add-ons. It's changing it. This isn't for us where we have a hundred add-ons right now. That's not who this is for. No, okay, either I, way, it's hard to say that it's full, true. You know, like what in the middle of your screen, while you have it's where my ten different things dotted. My customization. It's in the middle of my screen where my eyes are. Okay, so, and that's where everything's going to be. Do you not? All right. So you have you use fire and brimstone. You cast immolation, and it hits ten different things. All things are ticking. Your entire middle of the screen is going to be yellow. Why Even would you not want to move that over did just a hair so you can still see where your character is? Legion, did you look at the screenshots from Legion? Mm -hmm. You looked at. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, but you were able to turn I'm off the other twelve. Did you look at those on MMO Champion? Well, no, I'm not an MMO champion, but you it's still. Guys, go look at those, and then we'll talk about it next week, and then. No, you can... no, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying there is right now where you can actually see what you dodge and parry on the middle of your screen, and you can turn that off just like you'd be able to turn this off and turn it back on. It's not giant letters. It's not. No, but it's really in the way, really badly. Yeah, no, it, I'm not saying it's going to affect every single person, but like, the thing, why not make it where you can move it over just a little bit? You, we we don't like... know. We, is, nothing is final. Saying like. We don't alpha. All well, I know. I'm just, like I'm. Goose I'm listen, really listen, rage listen to me, a negative it's Nancy. Even a, <laughs> not for us it's, that have these customizations. It's for the people that don't well, want to download. Even it. then, even then, so like you're not gonna peep, the people who are use or who don't use those. They no. don't use them for a reason. If you don't like it, turn it the fuck off. Well, and You're not the, allowed to play Overwatch anymore. It's made you hostile. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if I'm I'm literally the other side of the coin right now. Like, if you, that's I awesome that they're doing it. Imagine but, fans demand it. <laughs> it's awesome that they're doing it, and I, I I appreciate the fact that they're going back and they're revamping I'm old gonna, bullshit. Oh, you really feel? Just kidding. But you, because it's funny. I know, but at the same time, like. I've I've used the I've used the where you it's like on each individual one. It's like I've used the one where it's on each individual one and like as a boom can you starfall, I see numbers all across my screen. But I if they like I don't I, there's just something about it like being in the center of my screen that I'm just so, back up for a second. Um I'm really afraid to talk about this next section because I don't know if he's going to, like, set the house on fire, but I'm going to just tread with caution here. Uh, questing and rares. For important quests, there's a new dialogue system where NPCs are going to tell you more about the quest as you progress further into it. So it's basically going to be a little bit more visually appealing um, with an animated portrait of the NPC right next to it. Looking at it, it kind Starcraft. of... Starcraft. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> it has a, a, a Starcraft feel to it which I don't necessarily mind. Here's why I don't really play with wow sounds because I have children. So I don't necessarily hear all the things or pay attention to all the things when it's happening. So I think the visual box on the screen is going to be a lot useful for um, those of us who might not utilize the wow sounds. I can't have my wow sounds up or I wouldn't hear my kids. And then the house would be burnt down and, you know. Mm -hmm. And I it would like be it. a pissed off box. Yeah, and then he <laughs> He would be, yeah, he would have been. I actually kind of really like that because there's been too many times where I'm just like, I want to know what's going on with this quest, but I really don't want to take the time that's happening. Like, yeah. I it's, just sit there and read it. And this way it's visual and in your face. And you can, as you see, um, there's a little X, so you can close it out. You don't necessarily have to deal with it um, in front of you. I feet. like it. I really do. So I, I think, think it's great. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be. A... Especially for the beginning of expansion when you're questing, I think it's really going to add to the experience. Look at you. It's like you two switched roles, and I'm so proud. <laughs> Not of you, of him. Seriously, I'm so proud. I should be. I should go to extreme. Like, I love so, Warlords of Drainers, the best expansion ever. No, ever. that never been <laughs> <laughs> So, 
I can agree so, with so this. I'm confused right now. Yeah, <laughs> but also Hotz agrees with what I just said, so yeah. technically he's still a little bit of there. He's still it's, a little there. I, this is something that they should have implemented a long time ago. Yeah. Like, it's... I mean, well, I mean like, I could see where they wouldn't, but... Anyway. What a show. We covered a lot of information. I am out of breath because I literally was trying to make sure that we went... We... All that information. I, I feel we like I'm watching to... Freaky Friday right now. <laughs> we should try to figure out how to get our chat line on to the live uh, well, Twitter. Well, that'll be a thing as soon as we uh, go live. Uh, we are going and the fans to fans it, and the hashtagging has happened. Uh, January, I will be replacing my processor. All these fine gentlemen offered to do the stream while I do the recording. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a, a control freak, and I'm not going to allow that to happen because I like to make sure I'm the one that's in charge of quality control. It's nothing personal. It just is what it is. So in January, I'm going to be replacing my processor, which uh, when I stream – my computer freezes on occasion because my processor's taking a shit. So after Christmas, I will be buying uh, a new processor, and we will be starting the live show in January um, and all that. So the fans demanded it. Yay! Uh, oh. um, <laughs> that's, that's my excited. Uh, that's scary. If we could start on time, I will be happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the start time earlier than when I actually want to start to make sure that everybody's on, locked and loaded, ready, and pooped, they've drank their coffee, eaten their, their soup in a can, whatever weird shit Fryza does with his pizzas, like, you know, we're ready. And we got to stop using the real names in the chat because we, we talk about each other a lot. I think people pretty much already know our real names. I don't, not, a, not, I not, not, not everybody. There may be a, a couple loyal fans that know our names, but Awkward. a lot of the new people don't. I said my full real name. It was really you weird. You have? I did. I had to bleep it out. So you put a kitten on over it. I think I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I had to bleep it out. It was a total accident. Uh, it was literally the dumbest thing I've ever done. I was like, what the fuck? So let's quickly talk about our week in WoW, and then we got to close it up because we are way past time uh but that's fine people ask for longer uh, shows they ask for longer shows i was asked several times why it's only an hour people did like the fact that we go to an hour so uh fryza what did you do this weekend well i spent the whole weekend uh in new mexico uh being uh yes yes being a pre-uber driver with my mother and uh, she took me to visit her sisters, which are, I guess are my, are, as you know, are my aunts. So I got to visit a lot of cousins. Is that what that means? Her sisters are your aunts? Is that is that genealogical? My mom's, my mom's sisters. Yeah. I was trolling you. Oh, you're being, oh. you're making a joke. I'm making a joke. I totally heard what she heard and was trolling you about was my sisters are my aunts. And I was- Sister wife, hey, we don't judge around here. It's a party. Either way, they were you awesome. The same place Cody is. Yeah, I was like, that shit doesn't even happen in my family. Like, did they the cook fuck? for you? Did your do your aunts? Because I know your mom cooks. Do so they all get together yes. and do? Yes, I ate things? ate about three meals a day, four meals a day, depending on when I woke up and when I showed up at which one's house. Uh, but they they were great. They treated me nice, and I was not able to play much well because of that. I was there for about four days, so. It was pretty fun, though. I got to do that, and I need, and I am going to be transferring, uh, maybe this week, depending on how much money I make at Uber, uh, to go to Argent Don and join the ride as Rohan, and then I need to uh, make that transfer as soon as possible because I do need to start playing again because I really want to. I'm getting the itch, getting the itch. Especially the the new season just started. There's a lot of faces that need to be destroyed. So. It's not- uh, it's not supposed to burn when you pee, so if that's followed by the itch, then we need to get you to a doctor ASAP. If it's burning, it's killing the infection. Okay. Right. Totally actually makes a lot of valid sense. Yeah, it does only make, logically. It does make a lot of valid... You are the expert on killing infections, I think. Um, mm-hmm. Well, we're glad that you're coming back. We're fucking stoked, actually. Yes, so. I believe it was... Uh, yeah, that was probably a mistake, leaving that. Well, and sometimes you have to go to where you think the grass is greener to see if it is. And sometimes it is. It's, I'm it not was at the start. The start. Yeah. It was at the start, but people don't like to stay in a group. I've noticed that about PDPers. Because, yeah, they they, want, they like to move around, and you think you've got that around. healer for life, and then the next thing you know, they're fucking healing somebody else, and you're like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. I told you guys all the stories. Sorry, man, we can't hang out this weekend. Oh, okay, Q and Tumen 3. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> just tell me I suck. It's okay. <laughs> we tell here writers. We tell you to your face. Yeah, <laughs> we're not afraid to tell you to your face. Uh, well, we're happy. We're excited about that. That's hopefully you make money at Ubers. If not, you're I gonna have to so be a too. stripper. Uh, good hey, money. I'd make a good one. I'd have if to you stop. I've losing weight. There's more money. FYI. That's true. Your first customer. Oh what? yeah. <laughs> There's some weird about that dollar. It's it seems like it's been in a stripper's butt crack before, bloke. I'm not gonna call you out because the wifely listens to the show and I love her so much, but there might have been a butt crack stripper with that in there. Um, I might have been, and the stripper's name might have been something to do with peanacorns. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where that story ends, my we friend. Keep saying peanacorn so the Travis knows he's loved. Murky Murk in the house. Uh, Bloke, what did you do this week? Uh, did you get any mounts this week? Uh, no, no, I did not. I spent a lot of time in Ashran and Battlegrounds, as previously discussed. <coughs> well, I heard so. Um, <laughs> and then between uh, that Overwatch, uh, I'm trying to trying to learn how to play Hearthstone so that little blokes can stop beating me. Aww. <laughs> he's smart yeah, with you, yeah. though, so... Oh, uh, man. It's all, like, numbers and counting and reading and shit, so automatically I fail. Um, and unfortunately for me, uh, I've been spending a lot of quality time this week saving the children of uh, London in 1860-whatever the Assassin's Creed Syndicate is set in, so I have a lot of wow time this week. Ooh, That's fine. Ooh. Oh, I nearly forgot. Oh my god, I'd get kicked in the balls if I forgot this. But I, I went on a proper raid the other night with Knights of the Dark Age, and it was like a real raid with real guildmates, and it was normal. Didn't even die. Wore all the right gear. Wore all the right gear. <laughs> Just so you know, I want to point he's, that out. He's I'm growing like, up so fast. <laughs> I want you to know that... Somebody named Kangaroo Eater applied to be a Riders of Rohan officer because we have an online application to be an officer. And some person... Uh, according to lots of people, there's lots of people in Australia that are all kangaroo eaters. Uh, it was you. That could be you son of a bitch. Always... Literally, as I'm reading it, I'm like... <sighs> why, why are you reading that now? You should be paying attention. <laughs> no, I read it the other day when you, when you applied for it. I was like, this son of a bitch. Yeah. Well, I'm... You know, it made sense. Just take, you know. He was like, I don't like people. I wouldn't make a good officer at all. In fact, I don't even know why I'm applying. Something like that. And I was like, I don't know what's happening. I'm 99% certain that I filled that application out at about 4.30 in the morning. So, <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Because it would, have been fourth, it would have been early in the morning when I posted it at our nighttime. So that makes a lot of sense, actually. It yeah, was, so I, I wouldn't expect any of that to make sense. It was so, a, you know, because I'm not around enough in my own guild to, like, do responsible things, and let's face it, I probably wouldn't be that great at uh, leading their raids anyway. Oh, so I thought, you know, you know, great. I'd be amazing. Be I'd You'd be, be amazing at LFR raids. You are the LFR warrior for sure. I am. Uh, In fact, I'm going to get a shirt made, and on the back it's going to say "Slut Happens." <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> that, was dirty, but that was really dirty because it's really <laughs> I get it ears on the back. I did like, yes. all the, and he all said you should make that a shirt because I've got tears of joy. Do you see my eyes glistening? To <laughs> my ears were like, what happened? I what what we're, talking about. We we're talking about something and I, I said slut happens and he, he said we should I, make I'm that fairly shirt. convinced that you meant to say shit, but... No, I meant to know, say slut happens other... 150%. It was, per- so it was germane to the conversation. I learned a new word. Um, Hots- so anyway, that's my week. <laughs> Hots, what did you do uh, this week in WoW? Uh, this week in WoW, I did a lot of uh, garrison stuff. I picked some of those pretty plants. I did a little bit of raiding. Um, I looked... I know, I'm doing it on purpose. This is what yeah, I, I picked the plants. You gotta live this, this bro. You gotta, you gotta lock this shit down in your lap. You gotta be like, I was in my garrison <laughs> last night. <laughs> that, I picked flowers like I was a man. man. <laughs> For those of you at home, I beat myself. No regrets. No regrets. I have a headache. Oh. Fresh ruse. 
Oh, okay. they give me a headache instantly. I wasn't that there. That, dude, that was the best. That was the best redneck I've ever heard. <laughs> I was in them there. Garrison's picking them pretty flowers. And, drinks, <laughs> and so I also went down in that little mines and picked some, uh, some, some of them cobalts. Some of them hoot nanners. <laughs> the the knickknacks and junk. Nick <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I did a little bit of raiding and junks and, um, I, I stuck my foot up Archimon's bootay and when we killed mm. him, I got I upgraded my rings. I'm looking for a raids teams, um, so we can kill some of them there. Oh, masters. you're still you're still in the look in the in the. I I I got declined from Midwinter because I couldn't get enough logs for for the healer. Mythic. Yeah, for healing. So I have to once I can build up my logs for Mythic and get into a respectable team that I can go probably. At this point, I would have to go 13 to 13 Mythic before next expansion and then reapply. And I should probably do it sooner than later. But it's one of those, I need the job to get the experience, but I need the experience to get the job kind of scenarios. Yeah, Midwinter only so, wanted the Hiller. They didn't want anything else. I, I could probably apply as Boomkin, but I, I, I talked with the Boomkin, and I've seen him raid, and he's... He's fairly good. Like that's he's, baloney. My baloney yeah, is the first name. I've I've actually accidentally texted him three times trying to text someone else, and it gets very awkward. And he's like, he's like, fuck this guy that we met at BlizzCon. All yeah, the time. he's like, awkward. bro. He's like, bro. This is the third. Time. I was like, I'm uh, yeah. So this is awkward. I don't know how this happens. <laughs> only two people. What are one wearing? Per- oh, not you. <laughs> <laughs> only one person texted me, so his was directly below that. And a simple misclick while you're driving, and you're. Is that Richard? Is the only one that texts you? Yeah. Yeah. So right. you're in a you're it's, in a really awkward. It's enormous. Either. Everyone uses Facebook Messenger now, so. Yeah, I don't ever use my text messages on my phone no. ever. So Facebook it's Facebook Messenger like, is amazing. I mean, I'm just saying that to make myself feel better because I mean, she's still the only person that messages me, but you know. But no, uh, other than that, I played a metric fuck ton of Overwatch because the beta is going ending soon, um, and I did, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Like it's. Cool. Good job. Sam hates me because I haven't played with her a lot. <laughs> so that's, she she threatened to hijack well, me no, and kick me He's an off elitist about everything. He even has to be an elitist about a game that's in fucking beta. Like maybe hey, I just want to play with my friend and I don't want to deal with your elitist bullshit because you get mad because I don't know how to do all the fucking I heroes. Never I'm sorry, I want to be your friend and play with you when you're over here. Like I I never got casuals. mad. It's in beta. Everybody's fucking casuals with everybody trying to go pro. <laughs> I never got Seriously, mad. Suck my dick. I'm done. <laughs> I oh never got God. mad. I, this is the way oh, this conversation went down. Done. This is the way voguing. this conversation went down. This is me This is me voguing. This is this is the way that conversation went down. It was, hey, this is me you're gonna play some Overwatch. Overwatch. You're gonna go in there. You're gonna log on Overwatch, and you're gonna play with me and my like in a group of our friends, and you're gonna log into Zoom, or I'm changing the Wi-Fi password. I never even said no. I can't play with you because it might fuck up. No, he logged out a second. It, we all logged into Overwatch. He logged out, and I was like, oh no, this? no, no, no. You started playing here with a storm. We were storm all drinking, before I even We were all drinking. Hosted a drunk a drunk FPS night in Zoom, and we were all drinking we didn't even care and it turns out we didn't even miss him anyway so pardon me for not, not many people do. i i want so i logged in right and i stopped so playing enough. waiting for y'all okay, to start that. just kidding uh just kidding and i did i did play i did play heroes <laughs> of the storm too um yeah, I did play that. Make me feel bad. Me and Chogal don't get along me. after three bottles of wine, just so we're clear. Me and Chogal, and I'm trying to you poor Kim. Bottles? Kim had to deal with my bullshit because I was the part of Chogal where you had to steer him. And she's like, can we go down? And I'm like, but I'm already up. And they're like, no. And her husband, Bentley, is like, hey, by the way, what are you doing? I don't fucking know. I'm just clicking shit. I don't know anything about Overwatch. So, yeah, not a not a bad time. But... If you're playing Chogal and Overwatch <laughs> and- I don't know how much shit you've been drinking, but you need to share. I don't know, Chogal and Heroes of the Storm. That's not what you said. I did say. His, he brought up Heroes of the Storm in chat. Re-listen. Yeah, if we re- we're going to re-listen to this, and the next week, it's, I'm going mean, to hang, being I'm hang shit on you. I've learned to not disagree I with I specifically local, okay? said I played Heroes of the Storm. Anyway, 
You can live with her. I'm so safe of you. I'm staying out of all of this. Here's what I did this week in WoW now that we've had all of our dirty laundry and domestics on the night. Uh, here's what I did this week in WoW. So we did some more raiding with the guild. Um, I've been recruiting. A lot of the Blizzard people have come over to Argent Dawn to come hang out, and it's actually been pretty awesome uh, to have those guys come out. I'm very, very excited. Uh, my buddy Dwight is going to be moving into the guild um, from a guild that's going Horde, and he doesn't want to go Horde, so he's going to come hang out with us, and he's a fucking superior shaman healer, so I'm super stoked about that. Um, and then uh, we, I strong arm Jeff into not being Horde and rolling an alliance tune, and he's now uh, level 100, and he's raiding in Riders, which is pretty victory. Uh, and everybody keeps asking, how did you, how, why, you're Horde for life, and I'm like, <laughs> this is what happens when you're friends with me. I make you change everything you love about yourself. It's true. I was, I was, I was horde for life. Yeah. But see, the the reason for that is because I have a guild. I can't go anywhere. Realistically, yeah. I, 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 have, I don't like the alliance, but I like it with, with, oh, with uh, yeah. and, right as a real hand. You don't have to love the alliance. I told Jeff, you don't have to love alliance. Yeah. You just enjoy that we can, you know, we can all hang out and 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 do do things. So I had a very productive week with the guild. Um, you guys should probably have already known if you watched the page. We've reorged uh, some of the stuff regarding Pwncast, and we've compartmentalize some things um i we've made it where the guys on the show don't necessarily take care of the page per se um we now brought in a team of uh, i believe i brought in eight people eight admins that uh, in charge of the page to make sure the news gets to you awesome. it needs to get to you um we do so much between the pdq and the stream and the show we have so much going on that i realized that i might have been putting a lot on the cast members specifically for their job duties and i want to make sure that we're putting we want to focus on our YouTube. So in order for us to be able to focus on the YouTube, we needed to bring in a team of people to make sure that the page gave everybody what they needed, entertainment, the news right away, everything really, really quickly. Um, and then it, we have a smoking team. I could not have done any better. We filled it a lot of applications. And uh, not to say anybody that didn't make it is, isn't amazing, but the guys we picked were just really kind of what Pwncast is about. Um, and we <laughs> – it it's so funny because when Bloke would forward me another one of, of ones that I had sent him that he liked, um, if you didn't listen to the show and you want to know why you didn't get picked as admin, it's because you can't be admin of a page and you don't listen to the show. It's kind of not okay for you to be an admin of a page if you don't listen to the show. You have to. Because, like, admin yeah. application 101. Yeah. Know what you're talking you about. You should have lied about it if you didn't. And I said be honest, but you still should have lied about it. You should have said you listened to the show. <laughs> So I, like, does Fryzer like Wad? Right. <laughs> and you would know. But it, the reason for that is because if you listen and you watch the show, then you already know who we are and you already know how we feel and what we are and what we want to bring to the community. And we don't have to tell you because you spend your, your time with us every week. So you already know what we're looking for. And, and these guys, they're all phenomenal. Um, we've got Angmar Witch, um, Kilgrave, Loxo, Karma, Broody, our very own Broody wanted to be admin and she and her cute self is an admin um tell her that i said that she's not doing a good enough job irish zando zando karma i already said I karma i think that's all of you i feel like i'm there's, i guarantee there's going to be that one kill grave, right i said kill grave right. <laughs> I forgot one of you, and then Aj. The one new admin that Bill <laughs> forgot to mention on the show. Sorry. I Offended. I did forget. Are you sure we shouldn't get Little Book to write all that down? I know. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I ra this is why this is it because he finds those little ways to where he just stabs you with a needle like he just stabs you with a needle and you just want to punch him in the face anyway uh so yeah with that it's coming next year what just it's in the chat line don't worry about that don't worry about it. That, 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 that's all, folks. So uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, – we. oh, yeah, you probably should wear my <laughs> – all the things. We are going to get on out of here uh, because it's been way over time. Uh, make sure you guys go to thepwncastdailyquest.com and see what we got going on over there, uh, Facebook dot com slash pwncast all of our twitter information is here uh i don't use my bell facebook very often but i am a twitter warrior so if you want to be entertained with my bullshit every day i really post some good shit on my twitter i pull out you guys for the funnies uh what is that you guys huh? get it hans yeah since 1977 that's the excited? millennium falcon 
Are you, one week to go. It's one nerds. week to go. <laughs> one week. It's true. Dwight will be here. We're going to go to the IPIC Theater, and we are going to be watching the movie. Uh, it's going to be pretty excite. I never got invited. Neither did I. You're never invited to anything because you're always on Skype with Angie, and we can never talk to you. And when Ooh, I do who's Angie? You, oh, is that the girl? Facebook messages Bridget. approximately three to four hours later, and I actually have to text Angie to tell her to tell you to look at your fucking Facebook messages. Bye, Felicia. So <laughs> My phone's at my desk. You are, like, right there. I don't like just, bothering you because I don't just, know when you're wearing bang pants. On the wall you know what I'm saying? You, I'm always wearing pants. I'm not bloke. I always wear when pants. Are happening hey, hey, house, hey. So. That's not necessary. We are going I'm wearing to, pants. We, you're not wearing I would say don't shenanigans, but I don't want to prove it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Nate, we're sorry we missed you on the show. Uh, if you want to get a hold of any one of us, you know how to do so because you've been stalking us since the 80s. Also, we are very, very close. We're at 930 subscriptions, uh, almost at 1,000 subscriptions on YouTube. I want to see that button go to 1,000. So if you watch the show, share it on your page. Get your friends, get your mom, get your grandma, get your dog to subscribe to Pwncast so that we can hit that thousand mark on youtube we're going to go ahead and get on out of here thank you for spending your hour with us every week uh it really does mean a lot that you let someone, us talk someone to entertain requested you. on youtube the, known to the, touch, the touchy doll show me where it hurts you show me where it hurts <laughs> <laughs> at least what's bending over so that's always a that's a good time he, he's got no butt crack like, oh, if you're make... you've already checked well wait is on. that another one <laughs> no this is the same one Oh, so like, they're so they're not anatomically. Well, no, he's got little nipples. But <laughs> if you can have, if any you're other... gonna put nipples, you need to put little. What are, what what do you call that in Australia? <laughs> the land down under. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See what you did there. In the, the land, land down under. under. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Bye. Guys. In the land down under. Bye. Where did you get that fucking doll? I got it. Is that fucking Mount Virian? That's the one that she won. Because the music is not the problem. That's the one that they kept making jokes about because it had an atomic like a ring. You know what I love? I love that anybody that, that watches, they would never have any idea whether we're actually fighting or not. I think it's really funny. Yeah, I don't even know whether Rain. we're actually fighting or not. Sometimes I forget whether we're being mad at each other or I'm just mad at the moment. I was actually thinking about bringing hostage shots over here with uh, at least Arden Dawn. You lie like it's the fucking No, I, I talked sense. about it like two weeks ago. And then I'm like, well, I just got turned for now. Like, the only reason I had is because <laughs> if I managed to get into it. not until the next guild wants to piss you away and take well, you to your secret things. Yeah, like, I, never said, I never said it was going to be a permanent thing. I was just saying... 